And now let me welcome on to the latest edition of Courting Cinderella's on the Field of 68 Media Network, Tavares Hardy, the head coach at Loyola, Maryland. I got to say that one a little bit slowly. Uh, Tavares, we're talking about Colgate. We're breaking down um, the automatic bids, heading to the NCAA tournament, getting a scouting report. Let's start with this. They have one of the best offenses in college basketball, period, not just in the mid-major ranks. What makes them so hard to guard? Yeah, you know, they they play, you know, around eight guys, but but seven, I'd say, um, consistently, and, and they're all weapons. Um, they all have different skill sets, but, you know, they got a, a, a nice balance to shooters, inside guys, guys that can get to the basket. Um, and then I think they got one of the best playmakers in the country in Tucker Richardson, who really can can find the right player. Uh, if it's the role guy for a dunk, if it's a shooter for a three, um, if it's him going to the basket, um, he makes the right decisions. And when you have that type of uh, talent around him and a playmaker like that, they're tough to guard. So Tucker's the guy for them, right? Who are the who are the X factors? Who are the other players that maybe people aren't going to be talking about as much that can really impact how good this team is? Yeah, it's honestly you can I can name six to seven other guys. Uh, because they all have a different skill set. Um, you know, for, for our league, um, you know, the, the big guys are are good because because they can catch and finish and they're not they're not, you know, making poor decisions when they get the ball. Um and they can dribble a few times and then make decisions. So they're always a threat. Uh the shooting of of Lynch Daniels, um, you know, uh is you know, he's one of the best shooters in the country. <laughs> and, and so he's always a threat. Um, the, the freshman Smith has been fantastic this year. Uh, that was a great find for them out in Seattle, Washington, you know, to go from Seattle to all the way across the country to Hamilton, New York. It's it's a big deal. And, and he's adjusted well, um, you know, and then honestly, we our league. We struggle the most because of the four man Moffitt. Um, you know, he's old. He doesn't look like much, if I can say that in terms of like, you know, you think of a six, eight long, lanky, athletic, you know, basketball player. He's he's solid, um, but he makes open shots. He posts, he defends, um, you know, he he's he's the X factor, in my opinion, at our level. Uh, will that be the X factor, you know, when you're playing against a team that does have that six, eight, six, nine wing player that can do a lot of different things? You know, I think the jury will be out, but. Um, you know, that that team, is, they've been fantastic. They ran through our league, and um, I think they got a chance to, to make a real run in this tournament. Hey, guys, just a reminder, our sponsor for today's episode is Run Your Pool. They are hosting the Field of 68 Bracket Challenge. This year, they are giving away $1,500 in free prizes. It's all an incentive for you to get on there and find out just how good their platform is. I've been using them for my bracket pools for years. I've used them for Super Bowl squares. I use them for everything that I need to use them for. The biggest survivor pool that I'm in for both NFL and NCAA tournament is by Run Your Pool. So go check them out. The link's below. Tap in. So they've been to the tournament, the, the last three tournaments that happened, um, and they've lost in the first round in competitive games in all three of those tournaments. What is it about this year's team that can maybe get over that hump and win a game, maybe win two games, maybe be this year's Oral Roberts? Yeah, you know, it's an interesting style, and I'm, I watch a lot of college basketball. I'm a basketball junkie, and obviously got a chance to coach in the Big Ten, the Big East, and the ACC. And so watching these conference tournaments now, it just reminded me, um, a lot of teams at that level, they're not running a lot of stuff. Uh, and so they don't see what Colgate does on a consistent basis. Um, you know, a lot of those teams, it's more just sort of, you know, go to a pick and roll and ISO and Colgate can do that, but they also move the ball. They put you in different scenarios. Um, you know, they, they, they shift the defenses around a lot. And so, um, you know, again, we had a hard time guarding them. Um, you know, I think other teams that regardless of level will have a hard time guarding them with all their movement and, and, and their confidence. So you've been, as you mentioned, in the Big East and the Big Ten and the ACC. You've you've played at a high level. What where are they going to struggle against maybe some of these higher conference teams? Because they're going to be a seed where they get like a two, three, four seed, something like that. Where where's that mismatch going to come and how's it going to hurt them? Yeah, I remember a couple of years ago, um, just because again, I'm a junkie, so I'll watch all this stuff. And, you know, they were they were they were whooping Arkansas uh, you know, for the first half. Um and Arkansas was small. Uh, I think they played Justin Justin Smith, I believe his name was, played him at the five. And then they started pressing. Um, you know, uh that 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 can hurt a team. Now Colgate has good all-around ball handlers, 
um, and, and probably more. They're smaller. Colgate's smaller than they were, um, you know, two two years ago at that time. And so, you know, maybe that doesn't bother them anymore. Uh, but that's something that they don't see in our league. Um, you don't see a lot of full court press. And you don't see a lot of crazy traps. Um, so a team that that plays that style that has you know rim protectors and and fast guards that that could possibly bother them. Um, you know at the same time, uh, again I, I mentioned Moffitt because um, he he is so good. Like don't get me wrong. Like that especially again I keep coming back to in our league. Like to me he's he's like the reason we struggle so much with them. Um, but I don't know if bigger schools will. Um, and again, that's not, I don't want to sound like I'm being hard on the kid uh, because I think he's fantastic, but that'll be interesting. Maybe they will. I hope they will. I hope Coach Gay goes on a run. I'm I'm not one of those coaches that that roots against our league. I want to see our league do well. And uh, I think they got the pieces that, that can really do it. Yeah, this is going to be uh, an interesting run from them, and it's about time that Colgate won a game. We'll see if it happens. Tavares, thanks for being here. This was Courting Cinderella.